I am just a uh, what? I think a look at this. I requested verification so many times from Instagram. I keep denying me saying I don't meet the requirements. You could literally Google me. Like if you Google me, look what comes up. On top of that, just to make things worse, how many times do I have to get a scam account removed? Like there are accounts out here stealing my photos and my name, which my name is very hard to like misinterpret. Scamming people out of money, doing relationship schemes, um, financial schemes. Like I get messages from people who are like, wait, oh, this is actually you. I've been talking to somebody who I thought has been you for the past like three months. And it's genuinely disgusting. I'm genuinely confused on why Instagram will give my verification. More so confused on why my account will possibly be suspended. For fraud? There's an entire series on my account on all the fake accounts that I find regularly. Instagram, verify me so people can stop getting scammed. This is my one and only. I am the real hemp. Good day, everybody. Aaron Din here. Purpose of this video is to bring awareness. Awareness to all of these online romance scams that are happening on all of the platforms, including dating sites. I get hundreds and hundreds of messages daily from victims that are tricked by these scams and people that are still very unclear. If you are getting a random message uh, from an account with my picture on it, it is not me. Uh, the best weapon against these scammers, of course, is education, right? Alerting the public uh, and letting them know uh, what to look for. So tips on recognizing fake accounts. Number one, the account will always carry some type of widowed, single divorce uh, title. Second thing is when uh, you're communicating with them uh, within the first few conversation, uh, they've fallen in love with you. Third, uh, if they consistently make excuses on why they can't do video calls. If they have done a video call with you and it's a short clip notice that you're not able to talk back and forth, uh, that is clearly not a video call. It's just they're playing a video, right? Playing a clip that they've taken from our account. Uh, but the biggest red flag, of course, is financial support. Never send money. If you have send money, stop. They will not pay you back. And if they promise you a gift and they and you have to pay for that gift, it is a scam. Uh, once again, best way to combat these scammers is being educated and alerting the public. If you have been scammed, uh, definitely reach out to one of these organizations. Uh, do not be embarrassed. These people are professionals. Uh, definitely document, uh, report, uh, and block. Hopefully, uh, this video have uh, cleared up a few things uh, for all of you, and I really appreciate being on here. All right, let's talk about the scammers. It's been brought to my attention over the last several years that people are using my pictures and videos and creating their own TikToks and other platforms. I know about the scammers. I necessarily don't care about the scammers because I've been dealing with it for so long. I don't have the time or energy to respond to hundreds of people throughout the week on both Facebook, Instagram, emails, and TikTok about how they've been scammed. I am not dating or talking to any of you, none of you. If you're not sitting passenger in my truck yelling at me for not taking my vitamins, we're not talking. Stop using social media to meet a significant other. Uh, you shouldn't be trying to date anybody that you've never met before. And definitely don't fucking send them money. Why are you gonna send them money? Send me fucking money. I mean, really, you want my Venmo? Stop falling for the scammers. The motive of this message or this video is to inform the public opinion to my followers y a mis futuros pacientes que quieren venir a consultarse conmigo. Estoy sufriendo de un ataque por un grupo de falsificadores de perfiles, el cual me afecta notoriamente a mí y a muchas personas que quieren venir a operarse conmigo, haciéndose pasar por mí, a las cuales están inventando un perfil y llegan a una negociación y le están haciendo transacciones en dólares y en euros. Ya está bueno. Este es una cuenta verificada. Gracias a Dios Todopoderoso. Soy 
y gozo del prestigio de ser de los pocos cirujanos del mundo que tenemos cuentas verificadas por Instagram y con seguidores orgánicos. Cuando ustedes vean que le escribe un Norman blanco o un Norman white y no tiene el puntito azul, no soy yo. No se dejen engañar, por favor. Esto se los pido a todos mis seguidores para que continuemos y contribuyan a erradicar y quitar esta banda de personas malintencionadas con el plan de distorsionar mi imagen a nivel internacional. Mucho I'm a bit right because I've just been playing pickleball, but I wanted to uh, do a quick video because I am getting a huge amount of fake accounts uh, of me at the moment. And I've had about four or five people messaging me in the past few days to say they've been scammed out of money. One was a young guy saying his grandmother's just been scammed out of money. Another woman contacted me this morning saying she'd been chatting to this fake profile, um, romancing her for two years, and she gave him her social security money, and she's not got a lot of money. Um, I've had another woman saying that she's been romancing me for six months. This is just in the past few days. I've reported over 600 fake accounts of me just on Instagram. There are so many on TikTok. There are so many on here. It's an ongoing problem. Social media doesn't do anything about it. Um, don't tell me this is flattering. It's an awful situation. Uh, there's people lo losing a lot of money. I'm a victim here too. I have to keep explaining to these women that they've been chatting for, to someone else and it's not really me and they won't let it go. Uh, don't tell me to pay for the blue tick. I tried that. It doesn't work. Don't tell me to lock down my account. I've tried that. Somebody's probably stealing my photos who's on my friends list that I don't know about or on my follower list. Um, and also, if I lock down my account, the people who are being scammed can't find the real me. So that makes no sense either. So I'm putting this video out saying, just please be careful. This is my only Facebook account. I never use TikTok. I only use uh, these accounts under my own name, Clayton Littlewood. Uh, an unfortunate last name, but I'm stuck with it and I'm stuck with it on Facebook here. So if you're chatting to anyone else using my photos under a different name or a, a variation of my name, it's not me. So just report the account block it and do not send money to these scammers they will romance you for about six months and eventually ask for money so don't do it okay have a nice day